everyone my name is Danny James and today we have another Adobe CC tutorial on three different ways that you can use the strobe effect. The strobe effect is a really useful tool and can be applied in every kind of project. On my timeline I have a video of a model right in front of a closet and the camera just moves backwards. For the first effect that we're going to try using the strobe effect is whereby it is usually used in music videos whereby the hi-hats are always going towards a climax so that the beat can drop. To do this go to your effects tab and type strobe. You should find it right under the stylized folder. Drag and drop it on your timeline and by default it has these pre-made sort of pre-made steps. You can alter the strobe color to be black. Make sure it operates on color only and here you can adjust the strobe duration to up 0 0.3 and the strobe period to 0 0.25 and if you and if you play it back this is what we get if we are to alter these values on the strobe duration have it at 0 0.3 and you can have the strobe duration at 0 0.25 to have a consistent look because right now with the settings that we have the change is a little bit slow so you can alter that by going to the strobe durations tab and here you can put it at 0 0.25 and the strobe period we can alter it and make it at 0 0.3 and if we play it back this is what we get you see that looks quite well it's the alternative to what you should we would have done originally by going frame by frame and making a cut on every area And then coming on to delete a section of an area every time you see the same thing that you just did right now you could have done it using the strobe effects very fast the next method that you can use the strobe effect is with the text layers just come to your type tool and you can add text on your program window i'll type in fashion closet and I'll place it somewhere that I can see it. So the effect that we are going to sell is that we are going to be making the text more appealing. As it changes in visibility, it can also change in color. So let's go to your effects tab and once again drop the strobe light effect on your graphics. And the first thing that we're going to do on our effects controls, we're going to change how the strobe operates. We are going to make sure that the strobe light operates on color only. And right here, the strobe color is white and the text is also white. And that's why it might be hard for us to tell what you're doing. As we begin, we can make keyframes on our strobe color. Just click on the toggle animation and you can alter the colors that you wish to have. I'll drag somewhere here and that's it i'll go a few frames ahead add a new keyframe by clicking on this area and making a change to the color once again i'm going to repeat the same thing okay we can watch it back and see what we have sorry i forgot that i typed the word fashion and forgot the letter n so let's watch it again You see how the text changes in color that's it and if you need this animation to go for longer you can always copy your keyframes by clicking and dragging by hitting ctrl c on windows and command c on mac go a few frames and ctrl v and we should have all the keyframes set Yeah, that looks cool it's a little trick that you can always apply to your text layers now we can look at the third way that you can use the strobe effect i will duplicate this layer by holding alt on my keyboard while dragging up and on the footage above i'll do something like i can go to my effect controls and add a black and white having added a black and white i'll go ahead and search the strobe effect once again now on my effect controls tab, I can see I have the black and white and the strobe layer. In your organization, make sure the strobe light appears as the second one and the first effect remains on top. In this case, I'm going to be altering how the strobe operates. You can make the layer transparent. And if we play the video as it is, this is what you get. 
we are able to alternate from the black and white video which is on top with the plain video which is at the very bottom so there are very many ways that you can play with this instead of having a black and white alternatively we can remove the black and white effect and try doing with something else i'll go to my effect and search for a flip in this case i'll add a vertical flip and then back to my effect controls i'll make sure the vertical flip comes above the strobe light and the reason we're also doing this is so that the, we are trying to tell the software to make a flip to this thing first and then having done that you can now work with the strobe and upon th doing this i'll try to change how the strobe operates it will make the layer transparent make sure you have enabled that and we have a vertical flip this is what it looks like Okay, that wasn't the best. I hope you are able to understand what I'm trying to get through. But those are the three ways that you can use your strobe effect to make your videos look better in your next project. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel and make sure to watch other videos that I have. Most importantly, stay creative. Peace.